It's go time. We're going out in reverse order, so we got a little, a little bit of extra delay here. But uh, we're sending them off. It's time to go catch them. Y'all stay tuned. All right, just pulled up in the first area. Fished here in practice. Had a couple bites. They come up schooling in the back of this creek right here. Some, some really nice ones. Didn't really fish much more in the creek. Um, so I'm just gonna try to expand on it today, just because I know fish live in this general area. So we're just gonna fish hard and kind of fish through it. Try to get on top of this uh, this morning bite, throw some top water around and just try to, you know, see if there's any active fish first thing in the morning and then, uh, you know, we can slow down and I'll go to the drop shots and the shaky heads and things like that and kind of try to pick them off like that. But uh, really hoping to get some quick action this morning, start things off in a good way. We're about three pounds right now out of where we need to be of the uh, 20 cut. So, you know, we just need to have some big, some big, uh, some big moves today. So. Certainly can do it. The fish are here to do it. Plenty of fish here in Lake Smith. Plenty of fish in these spotted bass fisheries. So, just a matter of uh, getting on the bite. So, yeah. She was gonna come off, have me wrapped up in that bush. One pound, eight ounces. One eight. Awesome, one eight. We have to go get him, but we got him. So there was another one with it. You heard me when I said it got off? I seen that other fish swim off. So I'm like, oh. Solid large mouth up over the cable, baby. Boy, you was never coming off. You got that sucker, didn't you? Didn't you, Mr. Large Mouth? Yes, baby. Two pounds, six ounces. Two six. You get a picture? Sure.
freaking crazy. Two pounds, five ounces. Two five. Two five. Live scope. Oh, I did too. I thought, golly, that sucker didn't want to give up. A two pounder, two pounds, zero ounces. Two zero. Two pounds. Let's see what's up. That live scope, boy. It makes life difficult. Makes Oh, fish landing violation, two minutes. One pound, six ounces. minutes remaining in period one. Fifteen ounces. Unscorable. Well, we got our first break. Caught nine pounds and some change. Going in uh, to the second period. Not what we need to be catching. I can tell you that. They're catching a pretty good. I'm seven pounds back now. It's a lot. Head down. Start catching. That's all you can do. Let's go fish hard.
heavy when I set the hook. Shit up too, isn't it? One pound zero. One zero. We're taking one zero. One pound, fourteen ounces. Fourteen. So, fourteen. One pound, fourteen ounces. One fourteen. Caught his twin brother, yes. Two ounces. Kept grinding. I'm retiring. We're gonna break right now. Going into period three. Got a camera guy with me. Two ounces from being inside the, the 20 mark. Got a lot of work ahead of us. There's the cameraman. There's my boat official, Mr. Keith. Been awesome today. We are absolutely grinding. I'm uh, pitching around this drop shot. You know, in my mind, I think these fish just got done spawning, so I don't feel like they, you know, made it to like where they're gonna be the, in the summer months. They're just kind of dwelling around those areas where they kind of bedded. So I'm just running around pitching this drop shot around and seeing if we can't snag us a few. Thirteen ounces, non scoreable bass. That's the 
probably fishing too long of a worm. Maybe put on half a worm. One pound, two ounces. One, two. One, two. Fifteen ounces non scoreable bass. Yes. Yes. That's officially a violation. That is? Against the body, yes. I thought it was if you come into the scales. You drop him on the way to the scales. One pounds, 14 ounces. Well, we gave him everything we had. It wasn't good enough. We missed the cut by four ounces. That's tough. That's a tough one to swallow. But at the end of the day, could have been a lot worse. Oh, if we'd have caught one more bass, it would have been a whole lot better. So we didn't make it. Part of the game. Can't cry about it. I ain't mad about it. On to the next one. It hurts, man. I mean, to get that close, you know, at, at one point in the day, I think I was all the way up to maybe 18th or something like that. And I think I was all the way down to 30th at one point. But we just kept fighting and clawing and trying to get there. And, uh, you know, to, 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 to get knocked out in the last, man, I mean, I think 30 minutes is what it was. Yeah, it hurt a little bit, but um, it just wasn't meant to be. I had a great day. I caught 32 pounds of bass. You know, on my, on my favorite rod, six stick, super light finesse rod. I was drop shotting all those fish, and that particular rod is really sensitive. And, uh So we back at the house. I'm done griping about the the the, the four ounces. It's over with. <laughs> Got a bunch of guys hanging out with us today. Alicia made it, her and Olivia. We already had Bradley, he's been hanging out with us. But I'm gonna take you guys in and show you the house. My boy Jay Wills out here retying. Wills! Yes, sir. What you about to do tomorrow, big dog? Well, I'm gonna try to catch me a couple of bass. You gonna catch, catch a couple? Catch me a couple of bass, how, how much weight you gonna catch? Man, I think, I really think it's gonna take like low 40s to probably make the cut. Low 40s? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna take low 40s. And I, I mean, I, I'd like to think, you know, if, if everything goes right, I can catch that. But hey, the way you've been catching them, I think you're gonna get you 40. Ah, you know, I had a good, I had a good couple first periods in my first, my first round, and you know, caught 60, 62 pounds or whatever. <laughs> I had just 62. Yeah, so like, you know, but that's, but that, you know, conditions are gonna change tomorrow. We got, we got weather coming in. That's right. And that, that's just gonna change. And now you're out. It's like that's gonna change. Like I catch a lot of my fish off the docks. So when you have no clouds. Or when you have no sun, yeah, you know, don't put them on them dots. Them, Absolutely, and so like that's gonna make it a little bit more difficult. Absolutely. So I'm like, I don't know if that, you know, I'm catching like two or three ways. Catch them on on the docks, catch them on the banks. The shadow spawn first thing in the morning, like about mm, about two hours. Now this might be longer with the cloud cover, right? It, depending on if it really pours down rain or if lightning. It's, lightning will scare. Lightning too. is all bad. bad. Yeah, it so is. So I don't, I don't even know if that's gonna be the deal, but. 
Anyway, the bank's the deal for about two hours. Yep. And the docks transition to become the deal because they start sliding they off the They slide bank, getting in that shape. shape yep. And then they go from there and then they're gone. And then you just got to slide out offshore. Oh, it's pause. Oh, slide off. So I, you got a couple offshore I places. I got a couple places. I have nice. one place, they won. I nice. caught like seven. Nice. Like, yeah, so I caught seven pretty quick. And then I know I found a couple more little places that I haven't hit. A couple yep. places that I had. Yep. But, you know, probably like four or five places. So like, how how I, deep I, are the offshore fish? How deep are they? 10 to 20. Oh. 10 to 20. Not bad. Swim yeah. baiting them? Yep. Swim baiting them. But it's over, over like little like rock places and yeah. points. And yeah. Fish are suspended. You know, nice. so like they get, basically imagine them just, yeah, so you slide off in the little corners. So yep. like you wind that main swim bait over, you know, it hits the top of the deal in ten. You wind it across, and they're sitting there off that breakage. Doink. Oh. Got you, and then buddy. They all come back. You know how spotted bass they all come up. Oh, with the whole head. yeah yeah screen be lit up. Everybody getting tipsy. And I'm like, come on, boys. Yeah yeah, stay over on. there on the Just point. Stay over, stay over there, there, right there, where You're I can catch y'all. Why yeah. y'all be like a Tennessee River school, like a large mouth? And right. Just, <laughs> just stay there. Be like that, like that here. It'll That's be like awesome. That. So I don't, I don't, I don't, and I'm a little scared about that because. Then again, still again. The clouds. Sun. Yeah, Sun. absolutely. So it's going to make it, I think it's going to become more of a power fishing deal tomorrow. Yep. More than anything. I think that's going to be the main deal. Yep, you yep. Know, so I was catching on, I'm catching on a vibrating jig. Really? Catching, yeah, I'm catching on a lot of my fish on a vibrating jig. No, I believe that on them docks, those dock fish. Docks and, and, and. Oh, the bank. and the shad spawn fish. Bank. Nice, dude. A lot of them. Nice. Like, the thing is, I, I had a, hey, bro, you know what's crazy? I had a feeling, I mean, of course, I didn't know because we can't talk about techniques or whatever but i just i know jay wills and i had a strong feeling that you, i knew you were power fishing because of the numbers you're catching yep. so i'm like he's whining casting gear yep. and i had a strong feeling that it might be a, ch a chatter a chatter bait vibrating jig whatever you want to call it a hoo-hoo <laughs> we, we call it a hoo-hoo but uh I, I figured it was something along them lines and that's what it was that's yep. all good yep. well good job man you straight smoked them so i mean get your stuff together i'm gonna leave you alone we'll i'm, I'm gonna go check out the crib and I seen, I seen some smoke out the backyard, so I think you're gonna be cooking a little bit of food, so I'm gonna go check that out. Hey. Go Ted. Oh, here we go. Inside, first thing you see is the kitchen, and we got some shrimp. Ooh, we, we high rolling. We got some kebabs that's about to go on the grill, that's soaking in some la choy stir fry, and some other goodies they made. You cannot come to Alabama and have a barbecue and not have Koneka sausage. It's legitimate, okay? Leash! Koneka. Koneka. So weird. Say hi to the YouTube folks. Hey, hey. That's Alicia Wheeler. We got Bradley Wheeler. That's right. Live at the lake. My boy Brody over here, hard at work. Just working on videos like always. Legit. I got to get yeah. my stuff like that. One of these days, one of these days, I'll have me a a Brody type of a person. So that's the living room area, TV, hangout area. This is the back patio, and you can see behind me we got the lake. Nice little lake house. It's legit. And uh, got the grill fired up as usual. You know we like the grill. I think that's a man thing. Us man, we like the grill. So that's nice and hot and smoky. We gonna clean that bad boy up here in a minute throw those kebabs on i'm gonna kick back have me a beer relax since i'm not fishing tomorrow right i, I said i wasn't gonna bring that up again but i did anyways but anyway <laughs> this is the hangout spot we hang out out here and talk trash and uh and not fishing because we can't talk about fishing so we talk about all kind of other things but anyways i'm gonna take you guys through the rest of the house so that's DC homie Corey came through. So I'm gonna take you guys my room. It's a wreck, so I don't say nothing. This is where I'm crashing for the for the week. Got my clothes, little little dirty clothes, pow, and uh, got some towels. And we live kind of barbaric when we're fishing a little bit, not too bad, but we do. Bathroom is straight across from my room. It's straight. Nice little bathroom. Yep. Mm hmm. That's that. Wills is in here in room A. Brody is in there. And then I'll show you guys downstairs. So, me and Jacob and Brody are all upstairs. And then downstairs, down here, DC, Adrian Avena was with us. He's gone now. Like myself, he didn't make the cut. They're all staying down here. So, DC's in here. 
Then there's another cool room that's kind of like a washer and dryer, a little makeshift futon, a couple bunk beds, you know, and then uh, a nice lounge area. I mean, this is legit. Hey, check out this crappie, though. That is the longest, weirdest looking crappie I've ever seen. Ever. It's like half crappie, half walleye. I don't know. Been tripping me out all week. And there's like a little bar area down here. I mean, this is a nice little setup we got. And uh, so this is it. This is the pad. This is where we at this week. This is how we living on the road. Fast Pro Tour. Relaxing, chilling, hanging out. Good company. Good friends. And, uh, and a good time. Bradley, what's up, buddy? What's up? What's up? Hey. Hey, you want to go fishing? You want to go fishing, Bradley? Yeah? <laughs> Look at him. He gets super excited. He loves some fishing. You want to go fishing? You want to go? That's what's up. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. He's lit.